Today I'm going to be making cinnamon rock candy. Um, it's actually a pretty easy thing to do, except it takes a long time to do it, about an hour. Um, but it doesn't have very many ingredients, and as long as you can babysit it for a while, you're good to go. It's actually a pretty um, easy thing to do. So I have three and three-fourths cup sugar, one, more, one and one-fourth cup of corn syrup, one cup of water, and you'll need a teaspoon of red food coloring and some, a teaspoon of cinnamon oil. And you can get the cinnamon oil at a cake food store. They don't normally sell it or you can buy it online. First of all, you're going to um, dump so your sugar in and the corn syrup. The water. You'll do a teaspoon of red food coloring. Turn it on to medium-high heat. And what you're going to do is stir it in all together. It'll start to melt together here. But this will become very syrupy. You're going to let this boil on medium high heat, stirring occasionally. And this process takes about 15 minutes to do to get it to boil. Okay, so when it comes to a boil, then I have to take a lid and stick that on there for three minutes. And what it's Okay, so now my sugar crystals are all dissolved, so I'm going to take the lid off. I'm going to turn my fan on now. And it's going to be nice and boiling. So then I'm going to take, now I'm going to take my candy thermometer, stick it right on the edge, just like that. It's going to go up. I need it to get to 300 degrees before I can call it good here. So it'll just go up a little bit. And this whole process will probably take about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on how high you're going. So you're just going to leave it. You don't stir it. You just let it go. And you'll let it boil. And come check it often. Okay, so while that stuff's cooking, we've got to prepare for our next part of this. Um, and you want to get like an, uh, I think this is 11 by 16, just a cookie uh, sheet. It's pretty, uh, it's a pretty one. And what you can do is get a piece of tin foil. So it's got a wall on each side because you don't want your candy sticking to the pan at all, or touching the pan. So once you get that done, you're going to take either butter or margarine, something, doesn't matter. And what I do, I stick it on a napkin. I know this is weird, but I'm give it a good heavy coat because it is hard to get the candy off of this if it is not buttered. It's just about done. I'm going to dump a teaspoon of cinnamon oil in that and then I'm going to take it over here and I know this is a crazy setup but it's, it really does work. I've set a fan. I'm going to open my window and all the steam from the cinnamon oil because it's very potent is going to go out the window and not in my house. And I'm going to dump it on my tray here that we've got buttered. Okay, this is ready to go. So I'm going to take this down. Now I'm going to be very careful and you should too. This is not you don't want to burn the inside of your nose. And so I'm going to shut my heat off. I'm going to dump that in. I'm going to turn my fan on. It's not going to do anything until I stir it. And then it's going to go crazy. So I'm going to get out of the way. Make sure it's good and stirred in there. Put my spoon down. Oh, the window's not open. There we go. Now we're going to do this. Just let it drip out. Don't try to scoop it out or just whatever is in there. And I kind of rock it back and forth just to make sure it gets to the corners. And there's your tray of cinnamon candy. Okay, so once it's hardened for about 45 minutes, I would go ahead and put a piece of wax paper over the top of it to keep it from getting stuff on it. Um, and so it's nice for you, and you can keep it like this for overnight if you need to. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this on here while I crack it. So I've washed a, the end of a hammer, and I'm just going to take it. And that's it. That's all I gotta do. Okay, so the next part after you have hammered it, 
you're going to flip it over and so the wax paper is now on the bottom and I've already peeled off all of the tin foil. So you just peel that off and put that aside. So this is kind of what it looks like. And it, next you're going to take some powdered sugar and I have a sifter and it, you can sprinkle it on but I feel like this does a pretty good job. And what I do is just sift it over the candy. Okay. And then once you're done, you call it good. Then what you do, you can get little gift bags like this. I like to get them after Christmas every year because then they're super cheap. Not that they're not already cheap, but they're now they're super cheap. And then you just take your little scooper here. I'll put the bag down so you can see. I'm, I'm guessing I can do about 10, 10 bags worth per batch that I do. But I don't seal them up until I know for sure that I have enough in each bag. So that's it. And what I'll do is just take a little tie. Tie it around. And sometimes I'll even, so there's your little cute bag of candy. It's really fun. Sometimes I'll take ribbon and put it around too and tie someone's name on it. But that's how you make cinnamon candy um, from start to finish. Um, thanks for listening.